and the drink of ginger. Ginger. Yeah. Ginger. It's good even for you if you drink ginger. Mm. It's going to help you uh, on your uh, males uh, things. The real name of the mainland was Tanganyika, not Tanzania. Okay. The real name of that uh, land is Tanganyika. Zanzibar. My name is Joshua Kafinga. Zanzibar is in Tanzania and in Kapelago. Located off the coast of East Africa. called Darajani. Now we are at the place called Darajani, Darajani Road. So this Darajani Road uh, is divided from our old town and the new town. So now we are at uh, beside of new town. We're going to old town. And uh, this place is called Mkunazini. Mkunazini, uh, it comes from the word Mkunazi. Mkunazi means um, Jojoba. You know Jojoba? Um, I'll show it to you. Jojoba is a kind of uh, fruits. It's uh, very famous in Zanzibar. It's called Jojoba. So this place, uh, it's called, uh, in English we say Jojoba, but in Swahili we say Mkunazi. So this, this area is called Mkunazini. Mkunazini is the name of uh, the street. And uh, we have the church here. It's a very famous church in Zanzibar. It's called Christian. Yeah, Christian Church. Yeah, it's Christian and, uh, Church. Many people, it's Anglicanus Church. Many people used to say mm -hmm. in Zanzibar it's just Christian people. Um, let me tell you something today. 95% yeah. people of Zanzibar are Muslims, but uh, only 5% are Christian. But here in Zanzibar, we live in harmony. Mm -hmm. If you are Christian, if you are Muslim, we live in harmony. The Christians started here in Zanzibar after abolition of slave trade. So, um, the Islam started a long time ago, but Christians started after abolition of slave trade. And uh, those slaves, at that time, uh, when the abolition of slave trade, were the one who were the first uh, Christian to obey the Christianity. So they were baptized at that time, so they, come, they, they, uh, they changed into Christians. But they started to stay here, they started to live here, they started to work here. We have like uh, uh, eight mosques in Stone Town. We have a lot of mosques here, but only two church. Okay. One church is that one that I, uh, I showed to you. Okay. And I'm going to show you the other church inside of Stone Town there. Yeah. This is a mosque, and that one is the mosque. Almost I told you that the main mosque. In, in, in East Africa. Yeah. This one is a, it's a very old church. This the two old church, and the Anglican church and Catholic church. This is Catholic church. Okay. Yeah. That's why uh, I told you earlier, Zanzibar here, we live in harmony. If you're Christian, uh, if you're Muslim, if you don't believe in any religion, we live in harmony. The Christians started here in Zanzibar before mainland there. Okay. Yeah, before mainland. That's why. Yeah, it's work. People are coming here to praying, yeah, to do uh, ibadah. That's why we call peace island. Can you explain some yeah. of this, this story of uh, Zanzibar? Zanzibar, we were colonized by Arabs. Um, for 450 years. Up to me, before I was not knowing, but uh, Zanzibar is another country, it's not Tanzania. Yeah, it's another country. Can you explain? Because uh, yeah, yeah, sure. we use the same money. Uh, you are using the same money to yeah. people. Sure. Let me tell you something. 
Um, on 1864, we had the revolution here in Zanzibar. Yeah. And uh, after having the revolution, yeah. we got our own president. We got our own currency. We use East African currency here. Before Tishili, we use East African currency and we use uh, dollars. So after getting the revolution, we had the union with uh, mainland. If I say mainland, I mean Tanzania mainland. The real name of that mainland wasn't Tanzania. If you say Tanzania, you mean the two countries. Okay. And I'll tell you today. Um, after getting revolution, we had the union with uh, mainland, and the real name of the mainland was Tanganyika, not Tanzania. Okay. The real name of that uh, land is Tanganyika. So, after getting united, we formed Tanzania. Tanzania means uh, the combination of two nations. Okay. Tang come from Tanganyika, and then the add Zan come from Zanzibar. When you add together, it means Tanza. Yeah. And uh, the last three letter, uh, we say me in Swahili, but in English, it means hope. So Tanganyika and Zanzibar, we have one hope. That's why we form the word Tanzania. Yeah. Here we have our own president, and at the mainland they have the president. Okay. So we have um, House of Representatives here, and uh, at the mainland they have um, um, House of Parliament there. Okay. But uh, they represent uh, one thing. Here they represent Zanzibar, and there they represent the whole Tanzania. You got it? Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Let me tell you something. You yeah. know why this uh, this um, Stone Town is called Stone Town? I'll tell you today. The whole of Stone Town building are built by using a coral, sand, and stones. That's why the whole of Stone Town is called Stone Town City. I'll show it to you the, some of the examples of the uh, Stone Town building. You'll see some of coral inside the wall, and you'll see some of um, sand inside the wall. Like uh, you see that? That's uh, uh, one of the examples. And uh, when you are passing on the street, you'll see the whole of the fence over here. Hi, boy. I'm good, and you? Hi. Stone Town City. Okay. Yeah, the whole of this building in Stone Town. Okay. Yeah. And in Stone Town, at that time, people who were living in Stone Town, um, Three categories: Indians, um, Arabs, and uh, Swahili. Mm -hmm. Example of the uh, Swahili place. Mm -hmm. um, anywhere in Stone Town, when you uh, pass in Stone Town, when you see the house like this, mm -hmm. means people who are living in these uh, areas were Swahili people, like this one. You see mm -hmm. the small, uh, um, the small doors like this. Yeah. It means uh, the one who were living uh, in these areas at that time was uh, uh, Swahili. Okay. Yeah. And I'll show to you um, the houses were decorated by the Indians, and I'll also show to you the houses were decorated by the Arabs. Okay. Yeah. Welcome, welcome. How are you? Welcome. Welcome. Yeah. Ten dollars. That is the meaning of this. Mm -hmm. The meaning of this. Meaning. Meaning. Ah, I don't know. You don't know the meaning. Not with the Maasai in a village. Ten dollar, five dollar. Ten, fifteen dollar, ten dollar. What is that? The ba it's a bow bow. No, no, it's a bow bow. Ubuyo, you like it? You Embe. So Ubuyo. Embe. Embe, come on. Ah. Mango. Embe, it's mango. Yeah. Hey, I'm not saying Ubuyo. I'm saying Ubuyo. Ah. 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 Ah.
The oldest people, they stand here and they drink uh, ginger. Ginger? Yeah. Ginger. It's good even for you. If you drink ginger, it's going to help you uh, on your uh, males, uh, things like to be strong when you're doing. Yeah. So it's good. And they drink also, uh, they drink um, coffee. So it's very famous in Zanzibar. Joe's Corner. Okay. This is a Zanzibar doll. It's very famous in Zanzibar. Yes, it's, it's Zanzibar doll. It's very famous in Zanzibar. Zanzibar, we have um, types of Zanzibar dolls. Uh, almost we have two types of Zanzibar dolls. We have Indian dolls and we have Arabian dolls. Okay. So I'm going to show you some of um, example of the Indian dolls and I'm going to show you some example of uh, Arabs dolls. This is the types of uh, Indian dolls. Okay. Because uh, they have this uh, decoration. Yeah. Uh, at Indian dolls, at that time, they use this because of protecting themselves ag against big animals like elephants. That's why they put some kind of this. And this is uh, originally come from the Indian there. And uh, at that time, Zanzibar, um, the most famous um, trade at that time was uh, um, slave trade. So, um, you see this kind of uh, decoration? This it means chain. So the, the one who lived in this house was used, to, uh, was dealing with a uh, slave trade. And uh, this is a vein. You see, you know vein? So this is a vein. It's like uh, it's like some of uh, tree, some of fruits, uh, like uh, grapes. You see, this is uh, like a grapes. So the vein, the tree of grapes, we call it vein. So this is a vein. And the dough who have the round upper there. You see the round there? Yeah. The dough who have a, a round upper there. It means type of dough of um, Indian doughs. And uh, let's go to that dose to see the other types of um, Arabian dose. Okay. Of Arabian balconies. Mm -hmm. So that is the design of Arabian balconies. So when you go past uh, through Stone Town, you'll see the three categories the Indian, Arabs, and Swahili. So that is an example of the Arabs. And when we were surrounded through uh, Stone Town, I'll show you some categories of Indian. Yeah. Okay.